Hey class, Absolute 5 here. Today we're going to cover fractions that have the same denominators. You can either add or subtract them and we'll see what we get from that, okay? So let's see. And it's basically adding the concept for today is adding or subtracting like fractions. And again, those are fractions with the same denominators. Same denominators. All right. So in general, if A, B, and C are numbers, then Oh, sorry. A are numbers and B is not zero, then you're allowed to do this. A over B plus C over B. You're allowed to combine these two denominators and it becomes one big one and then you have A plus C. Now, might keep in mind that Again, remember, when b is not zero, that means this can work. Always have to remember that. Anyway, this is just a blueprint to tell you, if I have two fractions with the numerators can be whatever numbers they want it to be, but if they're the same, you're allowed to take these two separate denominators and combine them into one. So let's see what, what is that? What does that mean with an example? So a problem will most likely would say add and simplify, or just basically add it would be 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7, right? As you see, the numerators are different, but the denominators are the same. You keep the denominator and you add numerators, and I'm left with 5 over 7 as my answer. But what about, let's say I get another problem that's a little bit different, a little bit more challenging. Let's say it says add 7 over 8 plus 6 over 8 plus 3 over 8. So now we have three different denom three denominators that are the same, but there's three fractions. Okay? So I'm going to add 7 plus 6, which is 13, add 3 more, that's 16 over 8. The question is, am I finished? And the answer to that is no. Why? Because this is improper form. This needs to be improper by making the numerator smaller than the denominator. Basically, you have to divide 8 into 16, which is basically 2 as your answer. Okay? Let's do uh, one more. One more. Let's do one more example. What about subtraction? I just only did addition. Subtract 8 over 9 minus 1 over 9, right? Now, the thing is, some students have a tendency to do this. Sometimes they might actually subtract the denominators. And I'm telling you, you cannot, because if you do, you get zero in the denominator, and we all know what happens when zero is in the denominator, right? So we can't do that. So we leave the denominator alone, so it's still nine, but you only subtract the numerator, so eight minus one, seven. That's a nice seven. Okay, so seven will be your answer. So in this case, seven over nine is your final answer. So eventually we'll get to the least common denominator, but this is a nice way to start off getting towards that. We're also going to do something else before we get to the least common denominator. So until then, this has been Absolute 5. I'm Roger Palomino. Never forget uh, to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> almost, skip, almost skip the plug-in. Um, take the initiative and hit that bell button. <laughs> I could never get this. Dang it. I need to get this right. Anyway. Hit that bell button because we need, I would like for you guys to get more content if necessary or if not, it's cool, no problem. 
just be sure to hit that bell button and we're good to go. Anyway, <laughs> this has been episode five. Math is infinite because there are infinitely many possibilities and never forget to don't hate, calculate.